Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the feast day of St. Joseph, the worker, we entrust to St. Joseph our country today as we have the national consecration in this year of St. Joseph. To his fatherly heart, we entrust all our efforts, all our works, all our endeavors, especially in this time of pandemic. And so to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Father for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to, people to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, you we, we bless you, you we, we adore you, you we, we glorify you, you. We, we give, give you thanks, thanks for, for your, your great, great glory. glory. 
Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him, male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus, the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God was finished with the work he had, done, had been doing, God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because on it, he rested for all the work he had done in creation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth, and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust saying, 
Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God, our salvation, who bears our burdens. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. This year of St. Joseph, as declared by Pope Francis, today we will have the national consecration to St. Joseph. And we ask all of you to join us in this national consecration. Later on, before the Mass ends, we will be praying together the prayer of the consecration. I hope that we would pray this not only alone, but we could pray this as a family. You can pray the, uh, the prayer of consecration anytime within the day so that you could also pray this at home with your families. And today, as we reflect on St. Joseph, I would like to take a point of reflection from the letter of Pope Francis for this year of St. Joseph. The title of his letter is Patris Corde. 
which means with a father's heart. Taglay ang puso ng isang ama, ng isang tatay. And Pope Francis tells us that Saint Joseph loved Jesus with a father's heart. Si San Jose, minahal niya si Jesus, taglay ang puso ng isang ama. And if we will look closely, my dear brothers and sisters, in everything that Saint Joseph did, he did all of those with a father's heart. Lahat ng gawain ni San Jose, lahat ng ito ay kanyang ginawa, taglay ang puso ng isang ama. When he accepted Mary and Jesus into his own home, he did it, he accepted them with a father's heart. When he accompanied Mary so that she could give birth to Jesus, Saint Joseph did all of this with a father's heart. When he accompanied Jesus and Mary to the temple so that Jesus could be presented in the temple, he did this with a father's heart. Lahat po ng ito nang simula ng tanggapin niya si Maria sa kanyang tahanan noong ipanganak si Jesus, noong si Jesus ay dinala sa templo, noong si Jesus ay kanilang itinago sa Ehipto, lahat ng ito ginawa niya ng may puso ng isang tatay, taglay ang puso ng isang ama. And Pope Francis also tells us today, even at work, Saint Joseph worked with a father's heart. Kahit sa trabaho, kahit sa kanyang paggawa, sa kanyang pagiging karpintero, ginawa niya ito ng may puso ng isang ama. Taglay ang puso ng isang ama. Saint Joseph worked as a carpenter, as a worker, with a father's heart. And Pope Francis explains to us how did he do this? How can Saint Joseph, as a worker, as a carpenter, worked with a father's heart? Pope Francis explains to us that. Saint Joseph, in his work as a carpenter, did not just fulfill himself, but in his work as a carpenter, he fulfilled his family. That is working with a father's heart. Kapag ikaw ay nagtatrabaho, kagaya ni San Jose na isang karpintero, Nagtatrabaho siya hindi para sa kanyang sarili lamang. Sa totoo lang, kapag ikaw ay nagtatrabaho, ang iyong trabaho ay para sa iyong pamilya. Ganyan pala ang pagtatrabaho ng taglay ang puso ng isang ama. Ang pagtatrabaho ay hindi lamang para sa sarili, ang pagtatrabaho ay para sa iyong pamilya. Yan ang pagtatrabaho ng may puso ng isang ama, katulad ni San Jose. And my dear brothers and sisters, where did St. Joseph learn this? If we will see in our readings today, the work of St. Joseph with a father's heart, to work with a father's heart, is deeply rooted 
in our Heavenly Father. In our first reading today from the book of Genesis, we see here God working in creating the whole world, the universe, the world we are living in. Sa unang kabanata ng libro ng Genesis, ay nakita natin nagtrabaho ang Diyos, nilikha niya ang mundo. But in our story today, from the book of Genesis, we see that God made all of this for man. He made the animals, the trees, the plants, the fish in the sea, and He said, See, I give you every plant, every seed-bearing fruit to be your food. All the animals, the birds of the air, the green plants, I give you for food. God created the universe with a Father's heart. God worked with a Father's heart. That is why we call God our Father. Because He created the universe with a Father's heart. And He is still working. God did not stop in working. Until now, He is working with a Father's heart. That is where St. Joseph learned how to work with a Father's heart. That is why in our Gospel passage today, St. Joseph was connected to the family of Jesus when he was uh, preaching in his native place. The people were asking, is this not the carpenter's son? His brothers, his sisters, his mother are here with us. Joseph was deeply connected to the family because Joseph worked as a carpenter for his family. He was a carpenter, a worker with a father's heart. And we will see that in the life of Jesus, he learned from St. Joseph. He went to towns preaching in their synagogues preaching the good news, healing the sick, feeding the poor, forgiving the sinners. Jesus worked with the heart of God, with the heart of Saint Joseph. Dun pala natuto si Jesus. Si Jesus na nagpahayag ng salita ng Diyos nagpagaling ng mga may sakit, nagpakain ng mga dukha, tumulong sa mga nangangailangan, nagpatawad ng mga makasalanan, lakat pala ng trabaho ni Jesus, natutunan niyang gawin sa Ama at kay San Jose. Ang lahat ng gawain ni Jesus, ginagawa niya ng may puso ng isang Ama. With a father's heart. Tayo kaya sa ating pagtatrabaho, mayroon bang puso? Yung atin bang araw-araw na trabaho, yung atin bang gawain araw-araw, ano man ang yung ginagawa, Halimbawa, sa umagang ito ay uh, ikaw ay ipagluluto mo ang iyong pamilya. Ikaw ay mamamalengke. Ikaw ay pupunta sa iyong trabaho. Lahat ba ng ito ay ginagawa natin ng may puso? O baka kapag nagtatrabaho tayo ay, ako pwede na yan. No? Di ko man kailangan galingan. Di na ka magpa-practice. Okay na yan, no? Pwede na yan. 
matuto sana tayo kay San Jose. Lahat ng kanyang gawain, bawat trabaho na kanyang ginawa, ay ginawa niya ng may puso. May puso ng isang ama. At ngayong araw, hinihiling din po ni Papa Francisco na ipanalangin din natin ang marami nating mga kababayan na nawalan ng trabaho. Hirap na hirap sa paghahanap buhay sa panahon na ito. And when we look at those who are unemployed here in the Philippines, more than 12 million have lost their jobs. Let us help them, pray for them, and look at them not as lazy persons. Sometimes we look at unemployed people as lazy. But Pope Francis would like us to look at them that they are working with a father's heart. They are also fathers. They are also parents. And they have hearts. And losing a job breaks their heart. And losing a job of a father breaks also the heart of his family. And so, let us pray. Let us pray for them. Let us help them. Let us understand these people. People who might have lost their jobs at this moment because of this pandemic. They also have a father's heart. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue in the celebration of this Eucharist, let us remember that our Father, God, is working. He continues to work until now with a Father's heart. Whatever you may be undergoing right now, especially in this time of pandemic, let us be assured that God is working for us with a father's heart. Let us also go to Joseph. Go to Saint Joseph. And as we consecrate ourselves to him today, let us be reminded that in all our work, like Saint Joseph, Let us do them with the Father's heart. Amen. Let us now pray to St. Joseph, the worker, as we pray for all our needs. For every petition, let us say, Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. That the Church may continue to proclaim the values of justice as the source of our peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. That government leaders and economists may work for equitable distribution of riches and promote human dignity for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. That businessmen may place their economic interest as at the service of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. That the poor and the unemployed may find decent means of livelihood. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. That the faithful departed who toiled in this earthly life may have their recompense in the next life. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. 
In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and let us also pray for people who have asked for our prayers. Father of our Redeemer, as we unite our prayers with the intercession of St. Joseph the Worker, help us to see dignity of work in our actions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty, in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him the angels praise Your Majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our God loves us with a Father's heart, and so we call on Him as our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in, in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now all together pray the act of consecration to St. Joseph. Hail, Hail St. Joseph, Joseph guardian, guardian of the Redeemer, of the Redeemer spouse, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God our Father, entrusted to you his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ Jesus became man. One with our Lord Jesus and the Blessed Mother, we honor you with sincere love and veneration. We choose you this day to be our Father, our guardian, and our protector. God, our Father, has allowed us to celebrate this year dedicated to your honor and also the joyful 500th anniversary of Christianity in our land. With grateful hearts, we recognize you as a great gift of God to us to be our companion, teacher, model, and protector in this Jubilee year. We come to you to consecrate our people, the Church of the Philippines, our dioceses, parishes, and families with fatherly love and care. You provided and built the life of the Holy Family at Nazareth, we humbly beg you to bless all our undertakings 
and help us to build the church, the body of Jesus Christ, in obedient faith, steadfast love, and unwavering hope in our loving Father. You were always ready to listen and obey the Father's will and protected Jesus from all dangers. Deliver us from all dangers that destroy the gospel values and teachings in our land. Protect us all as we battle against all moral and physical illnesses in our society. We entrust to you all our longings and desires that lead us to salvation. We entrust to you all our families and all fathers, that they may true to their vocation as mirrors of the love of our Father in heaven. We entrust to you all our works to help our brothers and sisters in their sufferings. To you, Saint Joseph, after Jesus and Mary, we consecrate our body and soul with all that we are and have. Saint Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father. Guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. We would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration of the Eucharist and in consecrating ourselves to St. Joseph. We would like to thank all those who have continuously sent us their help and their donations, for those who have donated for the community pantry, and uh, we especially pray today for all workers, especially those who are working in the medical field, in hospitals, so that you could take care of our sick brothers and sisters. We entrust all of you, our dear frontliners and medical workers, to the patronage of St. Joseph. May you do always your work with the Father's heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, Quia, Quemle, Luisi, Portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicut Dixit, Alleluia, Ora Pro Nobis de 